Hey everybody, Tom Cherry Holmes with Linux MCE. I just wanted to do a quick uh, little demonstration. I just finished porting uh, Orbiter to DirectFB. Basically, uh, it involved taking the existing uh, Linux client and stripping away all of the X11 calls, making a whole new series of defines and uh, making a new make file to go along with it. One of the things that I've also done with this particular client is the um, shared dependencies on DCE Common, MySQL, uh, Serialized Class, and Pluto Utils have been replaced. They are no longer required. The needed, the needed libraries are now statically built in with the exception of MySQL, which uh, I basically worked around by getting rid of the create device code that was inside Orbiter. It's not being used. So, well, not for this type of Orbiter anyway because it's only used by the setup wizard. It's the only place it's ever used is in the setup wizard, which we don't need. So uh, now I'm just going to kind of give you a quick little demonstration here. As you can see, uh, this is my Linux workstation right here. Uh, standard monitor, nothing out of the ordinary. It's running a frame buffer console, as you can see from the very small text. And I'm going to start Orbiter. Now, Right at the moment, there are no progress dialogues or anything else defined of that nature. So if a progress dialog comes in, it's always going to just, it's always going to select the default option. Now I need to implement all of the uh, progress bars. But I'm going to go ahead and start Orbiter manually here. And as you can see, it starts up pretty quickly. And we have a complete uh, frame buffer implementation here. It's working. It's nice and responsive. And as you can see, it actually has the same exact problem as the, uh, Nokia, as the Nokia Orbiter in that we have a color space issue up here that needs to be resolved. And I hope to resolve that in the next few days as well. But I'll do that after I finish the port. Uh, as we can see, it works just fine nice and responsive and I have access to all of the functions of the system and uh, did we why is it that uh, anyway so um, as you can see it's just pushing right along here it works just fine and go into file list. File list is nice and responsive too. Please excuse the look here. I'm still in the middle of trying to modify my look a little bit. But as you can see, very responsive. And I, yeah, I am admitting that this machine is pretty fast, but this is all running entirely on the frame buffer. So, I mean, you know, as you can see, it works and it works just fine. One of those people might be able to pull some strings. So, yeah, there we go. So, uh, until next time, see you guys later.